Hi everyone, it's Jillian. Welcome to my channel and another crochet stitch tutorial. This is the pattern that we will be working on today. This is the front of the work and this is the back. So let's get started. To begin, you're going to chain in multiples of 9 plus 8. For this tutorial, I have 44 stitches. To begin row 1, you're going to skip 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and make 1 double crochet into the next 5 stitches. That's 4 and 5. Along with the skip chains in the beginning, you now have 6 double crochets. You're going to chain 1, skip 2, 1, 2, and make 1 double crochet into the next 7 stitches. That's five, six, and seven. You're going to start your repeat again and chaining one, skipping two, one, two, and making one double crochet into the next seven. That's six and seven. Repeat until you get to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. At the end of the row, you should have eight stitches left. You're gonna skip two. One, two, and make one double crochet into the last six. That's five. That's four. Five. And six. And that is the end of row one. For row two, you're gonna chain three, and this chain three counts as a double crochet now and throughout the pattern. You're gonna make one double crochet into the next three stitches. Chain one, skip one, and one double crochet into the next. Chain one, make one double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and make one double crochet into the next three. And you're going to start your repeat again by chaining one, skipping one, and one double crochet into the next. Chain one, make one double crochet into that next double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and make one double crochet into the next three. Start your repeat again, and I will meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row, you're going to skip one and make one double crochet into the last four. And 
And the final double crochet is gonna go into the skip chains from row one. And that is the end of row two. For row three, you're gonna chain three and turn. And you're gonna make one double crochet into the next three stitches. chain two and you're now going to be working into the chain one spaces the one on the far right the one on the bottom and the one to the left you're going to wrap your hook and you're going to go into that chain one space and pull up a loop three times one two and three in the space on the bottom you're going to do the same thing you're going to pull up a loop three times that's one two and three. The one on the left, pull up a loop three times. You now have 19 loops on your hook. You're going to wrap your hook and pull through 17 of those 19 loops. That gives you two loops left on your hook. You're going to wrap your hook and pull through both loops chain two and you're going to start your repeat again by making one double crochet into the next three stitches chain two and you're going to repeat this stitch just as you did pull up a loop three times one two three in the chain one space, in row one, you're going to pull up a loop three times. One, two, and three. And to the left side, three times. One, two, and three. You have 19 loops on your hook, and you're going to wrap your hook and pull through all, pull through 17 of those 19 loops. That leaves you with two loops on your hook and you're going to wrap your hook and pull through both. You're now going to chain two and repeat. Continue with this sequence of stitches and I'll meet you at the end of your row. At the end of the row you will have four stitches left and you're going to make one double crochet into each stitch. And that fourth double crochet is going to go into the chain three. And that is the end of row three. For row four, you're going to chain three and turn. You're going to make one double crochet in each of the next three double crochets. Into the chain two space, you're gonna make two double crochets. You're gonna make a chain one over this stitch and into the next chain two space, you're gonna place two double crochets. One double crochet into the next three double crochets. into the chain two space, two double crochets. And you now at this stitch again and you're gonna make a chain one. Into the next chain two space, two double crochets. Repeat this until you get to the end of your row and I will meet you there. Final double crochet into the chain three. And that is the end of row four. For row five, you're gonna start by chaining three and turn. And row five is gonna be a repeat of row two. You're gonna make one double crochet into the next three stitches.
chain one, skip one, and make one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, make one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Chain one, skip one, and make one double crochet into the next three. And you start your repeat again by chaining one, skipping one, one double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, one double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one, skip one, and one double crochet into the next three. Repeat until you get to the end of your row and I'll meet you there. And that is the end of row five. For row six, you're gonna chain three. And row six is a repeat of row three. Make one double crochet into the next three stitches. Chain two. You're gonna pull up a loop three times into the first chain one space. One, two, and three. Into the chain one space from row four, you're gonna pull up a loop three times. Into the chain one space on the left, pull up a loop three times. With 19 loops on your hook, you're gonna wrap your hook and pull to 17 of those 19 loops. You have two loops remaining, you're gonna wrap your hook and pull through two. You're gonna chain two, and just as in row three, you're gonna repeat. And I'll meet you at the end of the row. And that is the end of row six. To continue with this pattern, you're gonna repeat rows four, five, and six for as many rows as you, as you need. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.